Oh guys, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X Winter Chips and Wathru. In this episode, we're actually going to be getting Yojimbo. Make sure you have over at least 300k. You may have to sell lots of junk armor and weapons at this point in the game that you don't need. You should have a lot, a lot of stuff to sell. And you should have way over 300,000 at this point in the game. If you don't, for some reason, then you might have to wait until my next episode, which is or my next episode slash guide, which is going to feature the monster arena. But as for now, let's head to the comlands. And from this point here, we're gonna run all the way down. If you remember, in the top right corner, we had we defeated Defender X, and once we defeated him, I said that uh, we were gonna get your Jimbo later on in the game. Once once I start doing side quests, and this is the point where we're going to get him now. So let's save our game right here. And once you save your game, cross this bridge and head right under here. Okay guys, so from this uh, safe sphere here, we're actually gonna go this way first because we have to get the Rusty Sword. As I was trying to say, we have to get the Rusty Sword, which is just right over here. You'll see it sitting here. Obtained Rusty Sword. Now if we go to key items, we can see an old Rusty Sword. Now if you guys are wondering what the Rusty Sword is, it's actually a requirement to get the Massive Moon for Orin. So we'll get more into that later, but let's uh, save our game. And we can now enter the cavern here. Where are we? As are the fiends. <gasps> hey, this where? Hmm. Where? What? The summoner I guarded on my first pilgrimage died here. Yuna, let's go. The faith awaits. <sighs> okay, so let's proceed up here. And here's our first encounter with an or with an urn. So this is a magic urn, and we can actually mug this and get an elixir from it. But you have to guess which one it, which eye it is, and it's uh, it's honestly honestly not even worth it. So I'm just gonna skip uh, Riku's turn here, and I'm just gonna flee. I won't go so easy on you next time. We can activate these uh, later. So let's proceed this way. Okay, our first encounter here, a real encounter. So these are Yoli. Let's see what they have. You can steal a saw from them, and they die really fast because we're uh, quite a uh, high level right now. So let's see if I oh, or I missed them. Oopsie. See ya. Yeah, we're a high level for this point in the game. We actually should have done this earlier, but there was no. I didn't really care about getting getting your Jimbo at the time. This is a ghost. Let's see what this has to steal. Oh, two Phoenix Downs. I think this might be weak to Phoenix Down, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna check Yuna for a second here. Oh, it has 9,999 HP. Cast Doom at the beginning of the battle. I think I have Doom already, but let me just double check. Yeah, I think Kamari already has it. I'm just gonna get Lulu to uh, double cast. One Demi and one Fire Gun. Let me see how much this would be. 2,221 Dam. And how much will Fire Gun Okay. I wanna try Phoenix Down just to see if it kills this thing. Nope! Okay, let me try Phoenix down on this thing. Oh, I missed. Okay, I'll get Yuna back in here. I want to see if uh, Bio will work on it. Oh, he's in the Bio. Well, I guess we can just focus on killing it then. Does Death work on it? No, it means that as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill this thing. Once uh, Lulu gets to go again. Okay, so let's double cast, and we'll cast two more fire guns, and I think that should weaken him pretty good. You know what? Maybe mental break. I should have cast that with Orin just to weaken his magic defense some more. I'm gonna try that next to see if it's weak to that. Anyways, go through here and grab his chest. Mega elixir, and then we can go all the way around. Oh god damn it! Okay, defender. I'm gonna haste to go. Start off. This thing has 12,000 HP, so it has more HP. So you know what? What I'm gonna do is with Yuna, I'm actually gonna cast a Demi on it. And with Lulu, I'm gonna double cast two Thunder Guns on it. Let's see how much of this is. Oh, that's not too bad. 
I can- and, and she gets to go again, so double cast two times and goes on it again. Oh, oh, that was easy. Pretty much all we have to do is haste Lulu. And, uh, she will take care of business. So that's what I'm thinking of doing, just hasting her. What's a faith doing in a place like this? Don't ask me. They say it was stolen from a temple long ago. Huh? With no faith, summoners cannot train. Without training, they cannot call the final Aeon. Without the final Aeon, they cannot defeat Sin. That is why. Cause then the summoner won't die! Hmm. That must be what the thief was thinking. Uh, I kinda agree with him. Mm-hmm. Alright guys, so proceed all the way up. Oh, we have a new encounter again. <laughs> My counter attack worked there. These things are with the fire, they're thorns, and they don't have much HP though, so she just will overkill them easily. So with uh, Yuna here, I want to steal from it. Actually, I want to switch Yuna out for Riku to mug. I'll take care of them. So let's mug it. And they give silence grenades, two of them, so that's good. And I'm actually going to do the same thing with Kamari here. Let's mug this one. Oh, we stole an ether that time. Oh, shit. Put me to sleep. Riku woke up though. Alright, let's switch out for Yuna. And we will cure Titus here. I'm gonna switch Titus up for Oren now so we can get him some experience. Nice overkill, Oren. Heal Kamari. And switch Kamari out for Lulu. Hello, me. And let's just go fire go, guys. Let's see how much damage. Nice. Okay, now we can proceed forward here. And I want to go east first. Where does this lead to? A dead end? Can new enemies 8800 HP and 8800 HP, both of them. So let me start by stealing from Laha. High potion. Uh oh. Let's get uh, Riku in here for, uh, if you say so. for Mug. High potion as well. Revive Yuna here. And then I'm gonna switch out Riku. Hopefully we can get a haste. Okay, I'm gonna haste the guy. And then what I'm gonna do is buy all this guy. And we're gonna focus on killing this thing here now. So Orin goes first. And I'm gonna switch Yuna out for Rewaka. Let me try a sleep. No, oh, wrong guy. God damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let me try delay attack. There we go. And Orin will finish him off. Perfect. This guy probably killed himself in bio. Oh, pretty close. There. I guess I'm not that high of a level as I thought I was. <laughs> I did like next to no grinding on this game. Just because I'm waiting for the monster arena to do my grinding. And that was a level 2 key sphere. So yeah, let's head all the way down here now. Okay, you guys seen this encounter, so I'm just gonna skip this. Alright, let's head down. And we'll head all the way down straight around. I think we've seen just about all the monsters in this place now. So any monster bottles that we've seen already, I'm just gonna skip them. So let me go this way first. And get this treasure chest. Oh wait, we have a new battle guys. So this guy here, the mech hunter and the imp. Well oh, actually, we're pretty sure we fought an imp before somewhere else. But the mech hunter looks like a new one. Bring let, me, it on. let me get Riku in here and I'm just gonna steal from it to see what it has. L bed potion, okay. And we can get Waka for the other guy. This guy here. Overkill him. So I'm gonna cut this battle out now, guys. So now let's get that treasure chest. And that's a fortune sphere. And now we can get go all the way around. There's a safe sphere around there. But before we go to the safe sphere, we're actually gonna make a left turn to see if there's a chest there. Oh, we got more new encounters, it looks like. I can't remember if we fought Dark Elements somewhere before, but I know we fought this thing here. Anyways, I am gonna get uh, Riku to steal from Bring it. Bring it on! So let's see what Dark Elements have. Shining Thorn. Well, there's a new item for you guys to steal if you want. And I'll see what this guy has again. High port. Yeah, that's what I figured it was. Okay. I'm just gonna kill him really quick with Orin. 
But first, let me get uh, Yuna to see how much HP they have. Okay, that guy has 2,000 HP, one shot with Orin, he's dead. And these guys have 1,800 HP. And uh, Dark is usually weak to like Holy, but I don't think we have holy, a Holy attack. So we're just gonna have to uh, use like regular magic or something. Let me see if death works. Okay, so death does work if you want to kill one of them. And then steal from the other one. But I'm gonna kill this thing here because he's useless. And if you guys want, you can steal from these guys like I said. So I'll probably do that for a little bit. Do the trick, look at that. That should be enough right there. Okay, now let me get that item to my left here. Oh, it's right in front of us, actually. That's the Mega Potion. Is the one to our left? Oh my god. Oh, new monster anyway, Tonberry. Let me bug this. He has 13,500 HP. And make sure he does not come up to you, because I think he insta-kills you. So let me see how much... Let me see what we can steal from this thing. High Potion, that's it. We put him to sleep! Well, there you go. If you have Sleep Strike on your weapon, make sure to equip it on Riku, because we, ma we made one earlier. Oh, this is a unit right now. I can also switch to Magistral Rod for half MP cost, but first let me cast a Demi, because um, I have the Sage for a right around the corner anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, now that I'm Riku again, weapon choice, lights out. Remember the weapon we created with Sleep Strike? This uh, is going to be very useful. You can also use Waka's ability as well. If I switch to Waka here, no. we do a Sleep Attack with Waka too. So that can also be effective. I'm pretty sure he's not immune to that. Okay, so this thing's sleeping here. Let's double cast with Lulu and let's cast one Demi and one, I don't know, Fire Gun. Let's see how, how much damage. Maybe I'll try Bio too. Oh, Fire Gun actually is doing more damage right now. And 3,000, look at that. He's almost dead already because of sleep. He can't do nothing. Okay, so let me switch to Tidus here. I'm gonna haste uh, Yuna up. I want to test to see if, if uh, Bio is effective. Oh, he's immune to that. But he's sleeping still, so we can finish him off. So in this case, I'm going to switch to Kamari, get him some experience. Let's steal. Oh, I don't really want to kill it, but oh well. Oh, he didn't die. Nice. I want to steal. Come on. Let me see if I can steal anything. Oh. Alright, Kamari. High potion again. Well, it's dead now. Okay, let's wake it up. Yeah. Or we kill it. Told ya. Anyways, let's go this way. Oh, Albed. Albed Primer, guys. Albed Primer, volume 25. That means we're only missing one more. So let's go to the safe sphere. Because I need to fully restore my HP and MP. Well, mainly my MP. Okay, let's pass the sweet sphere now. Bat! Another Guado Fiend? No. An unsent. It is. It's you, is it not, Lady Ginnam? Forgive me. I was too young. There is no human left in you now, is there? Very well then. Allow me to perform my last duty to you. My last as your guardian. Okay, so Yojimbo is an easy boss fight, but I want to, uh, I'm still gonna use uh, Wings to Discovery just to make this super quick. Actually, I don't even have Riku's uh, Overdrive up. Well, I guess I'm not using Wings to Discovery then. So that means I'm gonna go with Method 2, which is casting Doom on it, so... Okay, so I'll start with Titus then. I'm gonna go Hastega. And with Kamari, we can go to Ron's for Rage, and we can cast Doom on Yojimbo. That means um, if we don't kill him, if we don't kill him in five turns, 
he's basically dead regardless. So, five turns, that's it. So let's double cast and let's try. I don't think Demi is gonna work. Does I don't know if Demi and Bio will work, but I'm just gonna do it anyway just to test. Let me see. Okay, immune, and I figured, and immune. Okay, let me get Kamari out of here. I am just gonna Grand Summon um, Bahamut. So we can do Mega Flare. Mega Flare. This means, um, now he's gonna be attacking a lot, lots, right? So his turns gonna go down like super fast. Look at that, three, two. Ah, oh, two turns, damn it, okay. Let me just uh, heal myself here, and let him attack again, and last turn. Aw, oh, he didn't go. Okay, go ahead, attack him one more time, and he's dead. There we go. Easy. Strange. I thought it would be sadder somehow. Maybe I've gotten used to farewells. You're stronger now. I hope you're right. Yuna, the faith is inside. Go do what you came to do. Alright guys, so you see on the map, on the mini-map there, we have two ways to go. We have west-east. We want to face east. Alright, so face this way. And confirm. You're gonna see treasure chest in here. So let's grab this one. That gets us MP Sphere. We can go around and grab this one. And that's X portion times two. Now we want to go west. And we want to go west one more time. Okay, there we go. And grab this flexible arm. And look at that, it has uh, four slots so you can put whatever you want in there. Okay, so make sure you guys save your game before you proceed just in case you do something wrong. Um, and then we're gonna proceed north. So make sure the uh, arrow is pointing up. Alright guys, so at this point you want to select to defeat the most powerful of enemies. If you desire my strength, you must pay my price. Make your offer. And as you can see his asking price is 250,000 gil when you select this option. So we want to first begin with 125,000 and 1 gil. The 1 gil there is important, make sure it's, it says 1 gil at the end. Make offer. Do we have a deal? So his new price is 225,000 gil. We want to bargain this down further. Now go with 175,000 and 2 gil. Do we have a deal? And he brings it down to 215,000. I'm gonna see if I can get him for 205,000. And uh, 3 gil. Let's see. Adequate. You are my client henceforth. My sword shall guard you on your journey, summoner. Oh. Okay, so 205,000 and 3 gil, which is not too bad. So let's confirm Yojimbo. And we've got the trophy for that, obtain Yojimbo. Now let's go save our game, guys. Okay, everybody, that's going to end this episode of Final Fantasy X 100% walkthrough, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough slash guide. Thanks for watching.